Now, at the moment, we've all been waiting for Rupert Goodwin's technology journalist is here with an old computer hard drive and a hammer to demonstrate how to smash it at smithereens. Now, you've got the protective glasses, which you're going to put on now. Uh, I'm donning the protective glasses. I notice, so. I notice I didn't, haven't been given a pair, but... <laughs> That's OK, just duck. OK. And you've uh, got which bit of the hammer are you using? Well, I know which end you're using, but which bit of the... <laughs> I'm going to use the, the, the ball end. Why? It exerts maximum force over a small distance. You want to cause lots of disruptive force to break it in the first place. OK. And you can continue the pulverising with the other end later. Do you want me to help you? Are you all right there? Oh, I'm looking forward to this. OK. I'm right. ready to go. And you, we've, got just a, we've got some uh, wood on the floor. All right, I'm going to kneel down, so, uh, okay. not the first time the BBC's had me on the knees. All right. Okay. Are we ready? Uh, fine, we're all standing back. You uh, whack it as you want to. Here we go. Okay, that's, uh... Has it gone yet? Oh, bits it have. Oops. There we go. Yeah, bits flying off it now. You're listening to live hard drive smashing on BBC Radio 4. And uh, I think of every time my computer's crashed, it's lost a document, or otherwise misbehaved. It's very cathartic. I, I thoroughly recommend it. Why is it taking so long? They're very hard. That's why they're called okay. hard drives. <laughs> right. I think, although it's substantially intact, the patterns have been bashed <laughs> in, uh, the circuit board is smashed, it doesn't go round, and... Uh, yeah, small bits are falling off. Well, uh, congratulations, Rupert. Thank um, you. Um, uh, it might not quite be to a uh, GCHQ standard, but it, it's, it's good enough. Uh, I appreciate the effort. Um, Rupert will be back on uh, The World Tonight trying to uh, completely finish.